Oh shoot! <laughs> hey Kim! <laughs> I almost died! What do we get to play with this week? We get to play the piano. I, I really wanted to just hum some Mozart right there. Go for it. So how did you like your <laughs> piano? <laughs> Um, yeah, well, they're called they're called what looms. They're all right? part of like the loom, the Faber Castell looms. Yeah. And so you have Faber Castell, then you have loom, and then it like splits off into two types. To, to piano, and shiny ones, yeah. right here. This one. And, and then, then there's the metallics. Yes. I'll get them. I got them. Don't worry. Yes. Here we go. All right. The metallics. The metallics, which which are not shiny. I found it confusing because at first when I was like, oh, piano and metallics, I grabbed one of these and I was like, this must be the metallic. Cause look at how shiny it is. Yeah. But it is not. I think black, black and white, because like of a the piano. Keys. Yes, yes, exactly. That's, That's how I remember. Yeah, this was a good pen. It was another good option for a first starter pen yeah. or maybe like a next level starter yep. pen. It is a snap cap. Does it's, have it's a little a very, like, yeah, it's a very like, back, like hard snap. This was my arm workout for the week. Okay. One, two. Yeah. Yes. Three, four. I thought your arms were getting bigger. More um, <laughs> That's right, exactly. Sure. You just came in one day and you just, <laughs> I had a medium, you had a medium. Yes. I think because we had mediums and we like juicier nibs, yes. I think that's what initially threw me off. I feel like the medium on this is more like a fine on a normal pen. But after using it over the week, I, I, I did end up really liking it. Yeah. And, and the fact that it's, uh, it's all metal is always, I just really like metal pens. And even though they're metal, they're not like heavy. Yeah, exactly. You like, yep. you know, they're weighing a lot in your hand. Yeah. Your hand gets hard as you're writing. It looks like it's gonna weight. be significant, but it, it's it's yeah. definitely not. Oh, did you it's, post yours? I did, I, I, I tried didn't. both. I ended up not posting it just cause I don't know, the cap is like qu quite thicker than mm, I, can, I I thought either way was perfectly fine. I, I tend to like posting my pens because I tend to lose my caps. They just, mm. they just you know, fly off, yes. off yeah, all over the place. Yes. That's why finishing points are good. And another cool thing I thought with these, um, but they, they, they don't come with converters, right? Right, cartridge yes. Converters. If you get a favor cast out, you have to buy the loom. You have to buy the converter separately. Yes. They come with a, with a cartridge, but or you could buy a different one because it takes yeah. long and short international cartridges. And that's what I thought yeah. was really cool yeah. because actually when you unscrew this here, uh, they have this little uh, spacer thing mm -hmm. to illustrate that you can have uh, a cartridge in and then you can also have a backup yeah, in that. here so you can, you know, you never have to worry about running out of ink because you always got yes. that extra one in there. Because it's like, oh, cool, as soon as I run out of ink, let me just throw another one in there, Pop throw right the in. new one in. Yeah. yeah, and you're always, you never have to worry about being out of ink, yeah. which I thought that was really nice. cool. What did you think about the overall look of the pen? This part was very sleek. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, it doesn't have a breather hole, which I learned today is Ooh, it do allows, tell. What is a breather hole? Um, oh dear. You're on the Copy, spot. Google. We need a spotlight. Okay. Right here. It allows the air to, as the ink leaves, it allows air to go back into the pen because obviously you have to fill that space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also, um, this isn't as important with steel nibs, which this is a steel nib, um, but what the breather hole kind of takes the pressure off of the nib oh, when you're writing. That makes so a lot of sense. So does, then it doesn't crack. It does have cute little dimples though. I know, I thought that was really cool with yeah. these actually. Right under the size of the nib, it has their, their logo, the two jousting people. I think that's what oh, they're doing. I'm yeah. Assuming that's what's going yeah. on. And yeah, no, that's right under the size of the nibs, which what sizes did these come in? Extra fine, fine, medium, and broad. Another thing I thought was kind of cool about these, they have they have a nice, a nice clip, but the cool thing is that they uh they're springy. Yes. So if you have a big pocket or a lot of times I like uh I like putting my pens like this on my shirt, it, yeah. you know, there's no problem. If you fidget like me. You, oh, there you go. Something to And it springs so you don't have to worry about it, springs, it snapping yep. off. Or you can do the snap cap. Exactly. Work the muscles. I I yeah. You, you got a lot of stuff going on there. I you're know. just flicking flicking caps, you're snapping stuff. Just a fidgeter. Do you need to see a psychiatrist? <laughs> I just fidget. <laughs> yeah, I'm a fidgeter. <laughs> I like it. It's not too warm right now. Director, direct us. He's turning the cameras off. We suck. We're wasting film. Fire! <laughs> Nip noobs!